If she didn't want to get a kid the last name, the kid didn't get the last name. Yeah. If she wanted to say this another was the daddy, the another is the daddy. So I studied that. I didn't start having children to my mid and late twenties, homie. So I had a time to think. Real life. It's just like a, a mixed girl with a white mama. If she don't go tap into her daddy's mama or her daddy's sister and raise with that influence, she's a white black girl. She just black in skin, but your mind and your thought process controls who you are. So I, I so so mo, most most go get a white girl. I don't care how much he love that white girl, his mama, his sisters, and his aunties. It rebutting that shit when he come over here. So, they don't who's rebutting her. She when she go home, she Indian. When she go home, she's Indian. Who's black over there? Think about this. Who's black when she go home? She said, "My daddy know how to make collard greens." Man, Jamaican really don't eat collard greens in a bathtub. <laughs> No, no clean greens in the bathtub. Boy, y'all better get them guys greens out that tub. Y'all ain't clean that tub. Ain't doing nothing in the bathroom with food as black people. Think about that, my <laughs> So, so my son and my daughter have been raised with both. But I don't convince them that they black. So, so let me ask you, because you're wearing nation on your chest. Do you yeah. feel like there might be either a uh, extermination, destruction of, of the American based on crossbreeding going into the future because we watch these college, you know, uh, first round draft picks and they seem to kind of have a Caucasian uh, female. Well, I, well I, I intentionally had biracial children. Yeah. I did that on purpose. Why? Uh, because when I came home in 1998, at the age of 21, I saw all my black friends had baby mama trauma. Mm. Yeah. They had songs that was just starting to come out. Uh, I hate my baby daddy. Well, uh, uh, you look just like it was songs saying that. <laughs> so, so, so. Not only that, all of my female cousins, all of my female friends, they took on a position that this is my baby, this my child. Can't no nigga tell me. And y'all done made this together. But the black woman claims 100% control and domination over this child, and a child is a man's legacy. A child is a man's legacy. So all the black women I heard, they never said this is our child, it's my child. And if they mama says something, they go tell mama, this is my child, I raised my, my kids, my kid. And if the nigga got something to say, no, nah, nigga, my, I carried this for nine months. I carried him my nuts before he got to you. So, so that's a man's legacy. So the black man is robbed of his legacy through the baby mama. So when I came home, every nigga I saw and knew was not co-parenting responsibly with a black woman. She wouldn't allow him to. She had full control over the kids. If she didn't want to get a kid the last name, the kid didn't get the last name. Yeah. If she wanted to say this another was the daddy, the another is the daddy. So I studied that. I didn't start having children to my mid and late 20s, homie. So I had a time to think. I got a Mexican partner named Weto. His baby mama named Moreno. Weto in the house playing the game all game long. From the time we wake up in the morning, the baby diaper ain't been changed or nothing. Morena get off of work. She come in her roll eyes at us. She start pulling out pots, cooking. Weto, you haven't changed the baby? Nope. She come in her mopping. Weto just put his feet up. And we all, Weto don't, yeah, but he love the kid. <laughs> Them day kids. The black woman ain't gonna let you do that, money. Nah. The black woman is not gonna let you have 100% control of your legacy. Mm. She's gonna diminish it. She's gonna destroy your legacy. If nothing else, assassinate the character in the eyes of your children. Mm. So meaning you could never be a superhero to your kids because you can't override what mama say. Mm. I don't give a damn about you telling your daddy. Not only is the mama gonna say that, the grandmama and them gonna say that too. Mm. Give a damn about you telling your daddy. And dad is supposed to be a superhero to the kids, homie. So if, if, if mama is the villain in the hero, then daddy in the eyes of the kids, homie, he ain't shit. Especially if he ain't got no money.